Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Naval LCA is India's first indigenous effort to build a carrier-borne naval fighter aircraft. The program faced initial hurdles in development as Air Force version of LCA was being converted into naval version. The major modification includes a strengthening of airframe structure including undercarriage to absorb shocks of the carrier takeoff and arrested recovery landing, drooped nose section for better visibility, landing gear, modification of fuel systems, addition of aerodynamic aspects, software controls, etc. The Naval LCA program commenced in 2003 and the first prototype of LCA which is NP-1 twin-seater trainer made its maiden flight from HL Airport in Bengaluru on 27th April 2012. This was a significant milestone in the history of Indian aviation in designing a naval variant of a fighter aircraft. As a part of the carrier compatibility tests, the NP-1 completed its maiden flight at the shore-based test facility in Goa on 20th December 2014. Again, on 7 February 2015, the second prototype of single-seater naval LCA, which is called NP-2, flew its maiden flight from HL Airport in Bengaluru. However, in December 2016, Indian Navy pulled out from the NLCA or Naval LCA program, citing overweight and inadequate thrust-to-weight ratio. Tejas did not meet the thirst requirement to take off with full fuel and arms load from an aircraft's carrier's deck. However, ADA, that is Aeronautical Development Agency, decided to continue the development to attain technical maturity and expertise. The various technical know-how learned from NLC program were to be taken forward for TEDBF development. These include the understanding of carrier interface, carrier suitability, launch compatibility from a ski jump of 14 degree angle, takeoff from a distance of just 200 meters or even less, the recovery phase of aircraft, aerodynamics and flight mechanics expertise, etc. In January 2020, the NLCA carried out takeoff and landing from INS Vikramadit. A series of arrested landings and takeoffs were conducted from INS Vikramadit, where two prototypes of the fighter jet were able to successfully land on the carrier by using its arrester hook to snare steel wires spread across the deck of the ship. This allowed the fighter to deaccelerate from approximately 244 km per hour of landing speed to a standstill in approximately 2 seconds in a distance under 90 meters within the limit of the deck of INS Vikrama Ditya. HL has also started the fabrication of NP-5 twin-seater trainer with significant learning and feedback from NP-1 and NP-2. While NP-1 and NP-2 was an Air Force fighter converted into a naval variant, NP-5 is being designed especially for Navy, so lot of improvement and better performance can be expected from NP-5. The off-nominal landing trials will be conducted using NP-5 and analysis of various stress points will be crucial for the development of landing gears for TEDBF. The fabrication of NP-5 is nearly complete and we have recently seen a video of NP-5 moving out from its assembly line to another section of LCA division of HL facility in Bengaluru. The NP-5 should be ready to take its first flight in next couple of months. The Naval Project Office at Bengaluru, which was initially set up to coordinate Naval LC project, is now monitoring the TEDBF program. Even though Navy has officially pulled out from Naval Tejas program, it seems to be quite interested in the NP-5 development. On 22nd August, the Indian Navy's senior officials visited ADA Bengaluru. A similar visit was made by Navy's senior officials a couple of months back. The Navy's renewed interest brings up the possibilities of acquiring a squadron of naval LCA. At present, Indian Navy has two aircraft carrier and more than 40 mi.9k aircrafts. Each aircraft carrier can approximately have 20 to 25 aircrafts, which means that Navy's shore-based squadron could be moved to Vikrant. This provides an excellent opportunity for naval Tejas as it can quite easily supplement the fighter jet requirement for shore-based squadron. While the Naval Tejas cannot operate with maximum payload while operating from an aircraft carrier deck, it can easily carry its max payload while operating from shore. While operating from an aircraft carrier as well, the Naval Tejas can easily carry two Derby and two R-73 missiles and it 
fits into the lift of Vikrant as well. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.